Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Apostle Chauncey Craig of Discipline Ministry. This place where we're not concerned about a building, but the building of a people. And I welcome you to your midday manner. Uh, we bless God as always for, again, another opportunity to come into the hearing. And uh, we pray that, that you understand and that you know uh, this line has never and never will it ever be about uh, people being a part of our local ministry, so to speak. Uh, but this is a place where we can come together and, and just and just talk. And, man, you can ask questions. We can, we can chop it up a little bit. Um, and, again, that, that, that we encourage each other, that we challenge, amen, or, 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 or whatever the case may be. Um, but just know that I love you, amen, and that, that this is, uh, again, uh, for our, our, our purpose. Uh, again, it's midday matter. We we just come, <clears throat> excuse me, to eat and chew on some things. <laughs> All right, amen. So with that being said, today I just want to talk to us a little bit, amen. I, I want to go to First John. First John. First John. First John. First John. Amen. And we're going to be coming from chapter three. First John, chapter three. First John chapter three. All right, and it reads like this. Um, just gonna uh, read a, read a few of these, and uh, and we'll go from there. But beginning at verse one, it says, "Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us, that we should be called children of God. Therefore, the world does not know us because it does not know Him. Beloved, now we are children of God." And it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him. For we shall see him as he is. And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Verse 4, whoever commits sin also commits lawlessness. And sin is lawlessness. And you know that he was manifested to take away our sins, and in him there is no sin. Whoever abides in him does not sin. Whoever sins has neither seen him nor known him. Little children, let us, excuse me, let no one deceive you. He who practices righteousness is righteous, just as he is righteous. He who sins is of the devil. For the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested, that he might destroy the works of the devil. Whoever has been born of God does not sin, for his seed remains in him, and he cannot sin because he has been born of God. Amen. Uh, a lot of reading, amen. Uh, but we, we read verses uh, 1 through 9. Again, this is First John chapter 3, verses 1 through nine. And as I began to read this, amen, I kind of got a chuckle down on the inside of me, amen, but, um, you know, again, because my, my mind tend to go places, amen, and, you know, I, I have a colorful imagination, if you will, uh, but if, if, if we're going to title this, in which I normally do, I, I normally do, and I will, I'm just going to say, who's your daddy, amen, <laughs> who's, who's your daddy, amen, who's your daddy. Amen. Who's your daddy? That's a question. So, as we look at the text, once again, First John chapter 3, beginning at verse 1, it, 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 it begins to read like this. It says, Behold, what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us. And I love that because because here John is saying, Behold, he's saying, Look, he's saying, Look, you know, uh, uh, this is something to, to gaze at. Amen. Behold. Amen. This, this, this is, uh, uh, in other words, pay attention to this. Behold. Amen. But what did you say? Behold, too. What manner of love the Father has bestowed on us. Amen. So what John is telling us again, he said, "Look at this. this uh, behold this kind of love. Amen. Behold this this type of love. You know, and, and, and we all know, you know, those on John three sixteen for God so loved. But he said, look at this love. Amen. Look at this love. He said, he said, check it out. But uh, behold this love. Amen. 
So when we, when we consider that, he said the manner of love, amen, that, that, that the Father has bestowed on us. And that's a good place for us to get really excited right there. But, but it's a good place to understand who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Because he says what manner of love the Father has bestowed on us. Amen. And the thing that we have to understand is, is that this mode, that, that this love is literally bestowed on us. Amen. It's not something that we earn. Amen. It's not something because I because I because I gave my tithes that, that, that he loved me. Because I did this, because I did that, because I went to the jail, because I did you know, I, I visited this person. I did he said no 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 no. He said this is bestowed, amen, on us. Amen. This is it, it, for soul. So this love is given to us. It's transferred to us. Amen. God gives us this love. So again, I ask the question, who's your daddy? Amen. So let's look at this text once again. It says, behold, what manner of love the Father has uh, 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 bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. In other words, this love, because of this love that he put on us, we can, we can be called children of God. Amen. But he, uh, 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 some say, you know, but uh, according to the scripture, it says that we should be, should be called. Amen. So when we examine our lives, amen, do we really behold the manner of love that God has for us? And when people see us, and even when we look in the mirror at ourselves, can we, can we literally say that I am a child of God? Amen. Because it says, because of this love, it says we should be called children of God. Amen. So, uh, 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 can, can, when we examine ourselves, can we say that I am a child of God? Amen. Any questions or comments right there? Amen. So, with that, uh, with that being said, Amen. Here we, here we are. Okay. He says, uh, uh, bestowed on us that we should be called children of God. Amen. And that's an exclamation point. Amen. In other words, that's a matter of factly. Amen. That that that, that is a proclamation. That is a declaration. Amen. Because of this love, because because of the manner of love that the Father that the, uh, that the Father has for us. Amen. That, uh, that, and He's bestowed it on us. Amen. He put this love on us. And when we when we when we read the text, we know that God is love. Amen. So so with this love, because God has put Himself on us, amen, he's bestowed it on us, we should be called children of God, amen, so when you look at that, you know, it, it, it makes you want to ask the question, okay, he said children of God, so if we're children of God, that means who's your parents, amen, because children have parents, so if we're children of God, then that means he should be our parent, amen, and, and it says father, so here, once again, is how we get the subject uh, 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 or the title of who's your daddy, amen, who's your daddy. So, let's continue. He says, uh, verse 1, after, after being called children of God, he says, Therefore, the world does not know us, because it did not know him. Once again, therefore, the world does not know us, because it did not know him. You say, well, why is that significant? Why, why is there a need to know that, that, that the world, amen, does not know us? Because sometimes, and what I found, and what you, maybe if, if, if you searched and you looked, amen, to observe uh, that, 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 that the world don't know us, amen, but so many of us as believers, we do everything we can to fit into the world. Amen. Even when it comes to our ministries, amen, when it, when it comes to the church, we try, we, we do, we, we set up church business the same way the world set up church business, amen, because we want to look like the world, amen, we want to dress like the world, amen, we want we want to fit in, amen, amen, uh, 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 black and strong, amen, my, my color, amen, with blonde hair, why? We want to look like the world, amen, we want to do everything like the world, but it's telling us that the world don't even know you, why are you trying to fit into the world, why are you trying to fit uh, 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 into the world standards, amen, why are you trying to adjust, amen, uh, uh, according to the world, amen, why, they don't even know you, don't you know that all this stuff, they don't even know you, you know, why are you trying to fit in with someone that don't even know you, they don't even recognize you, they, 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 they don't even acknowledge you, you just, uh, are we hearing this thing today, who's your daddy, who's your daddy, 
So why are we trying to fit in with them? It's that they don't even know you. Listen, it says, therefore the world does not know us. Remember, he's talking to the church. He's talking to those of us that say that we are the children of God. I don't need to try to fit in with you. Amen. Just because you say that a size 8 is good, amen, that's what the world says, amen. God may have called you to be a size 14. Stop trying to fit into what the world says. Hallelujah. Who's your daddy? Any questions or comments right there? Amen. Therefore, the world does not know us. And, and it says, why? Because it did not know him. So we have to understand that, hey, just like the world didn't receive him, amen, it ain't going to receive us. It don't know us. Amen. So, so, so let's, let us stop trying to be like the world. Let us stop trying to fit in like the world. What the world calls success, amen, is, 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 is property and, 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 and acreage, you know, uh, uh, how much money you got in the bank, how well you dress, and all those other things. So we, we, we have determined that for the church, amen, it's how big the building is, amen, it's how many people. We, we, we look at it just like the world does, amen, because why? We're trying, we, we, we're trying to fit the world standards, amen, we're trying to fit into this bubble of how the world does it, but he said the world don't even recognize you, amen, the world don't even, they, they, they don't even know you, because they don't know who's in you, remember, who's your daddy, amen, he's talking about our father, amen, behold, amen, what manner of love, the father, amen, that he's bestowed this love on us, they don't even recognize us, hallelujah. They, because they don't recognize him, amen? And, 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 and for those of us that say that we're children of God, we're supposed to look like our daddy. Hallelujah, somebody. So the question is, who's your daddy? Amen? Who's your daddy? Hallelujah. Amen? Moving on to verse, uh, verse 2. It says, for love, now we are children of God, and it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. Amen. That's the whole chapter, I mean, verse 2. Amen. But listen to this one more time. It says, Beloved, now we are children of God. So once again, he's reemphasizing. Amen. He already told us that we should be, we, we, we should be called children of God. We should be. Hallelujah. But in order to be called a, 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 a child of God, amen, we got to first, amen, know who he is. Amen. We got to first uh, uh, receive the love that's been bestowed upon us. In other words, receive him. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So, so, so now we know who our daddy is. So now that we know who's our daddy, look what he says. The love. Now we are children of God. So he's our daddy. Amen. And it has not been revealed what we shall be. So what it's telling us is that, listen, you, you hear the word uh, perfecting things, amen, or, 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 or perfecting. And we need to know that, 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 that although we are children of God, it don't stop there, amen. There is still a need to be perfected. There is still a need to go through the process. There is still a need to change. I don't care if you've been in this faith for, for, for 30 years, 50 years, or even 5 years, amen. We need to understand that it's just not a one-time thing to receive the love and then to settle right there. We have to continue to progress. We have to continue to grow. We have to continue to change. How do we know that? Because he says, if it has not yet been revealed. Yeah, you are a child of God, but it has not been revealed what we shall be. Amen. So it's telling us that we still got some growing to do to come into the, to, to come into the notion or to come into the promise of what we're going to be. Amen. In other words, don't stop right there. Don't stop just coming to the church. Don't stop you, you know, just saying, God, I love you, amen, but grow, amen, and, and, and honor him, hallelujah, with our life. Any questions or comments? Hallelujah, amen. But he says, once again, he says, uh, it has not yet been revealed what we shall be. He, but he goes on, and that's a comma, but then he says, well, we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. So what, again, under, 
I know it may sound like a like 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 a tongue twister, amen. And especially when I'm with you know, in my talking and talking fast as I do, amen. But the things that I want us to understand, once again, who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? He says he's saying this. He said, Listen, you in, in other words, you got to be perfected now. You got you got to continue to grow. You got you got you got to come into this thing of who you are. And, and he says that because Look what, because he says right after that, uh, uh, has not yet been revealed what we shall be. But we know that when he is revealed, in other words, as we continue to grow, amen, the more we begin to look like him, amen, now he's beginning to be revealed in our life, amen. So, so, so listen, has not yet been revealed, amen, but he goes on to say, we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him. Amen. For we shall see him as he is. In other words, amen, we begin to look like Christ. We begin to look like our daddy. Amen. We begin to look like our big brother. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. As as, as, as we're being perfected, as we're growing day by day, year by year, month by month, year by year, as we grow in the faith, as we grow in the things of God, we begin to look like the father. Amen. We begin to look like the big brother. Amen. We begin to look like who our daddy is. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. So then, when we begin to look like him, it says, for we shall see him as he is. Amen. So so, 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 and, 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 so, when we look in the mirror, amen, we won't see us, we'll see him. Jesus. Amen. We'll see him. Hallelujah. See, now when I look in the mirror, I see me. I see all my flaws. Amen. I, 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 I see, I, I can look closely at my face and I can see where I done picked out a purple and, and so forth and so on. Amen. But, 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 the, but the real truth of the matter is, if I can look behind what I see in the mirror and begin to see Jesus in my life. Amen. Begin to see where I look like my father. And see, I'm here to tell you now. Uh, I always thought that I looked exactly like my mother. I always thought that I took everything after my off my mother's side. But I, but, but listen to me now, and, and, and so so much so that even when I see some, you know her brothers, you know my uncles and such, hey man, I'm saying man, I got that one featured, I got this one featured, I got this one, I got that, you know. And and, and I always again, I've always seen this because again, that's why I say I I, I took after my mother's side. But I'm telling you, the older I get, hey man, and I look at my dad. Amen. I'm telling you that I have my father's pieces as well. Amen. So, so the thing, the thing that I'm telling you that is that it took me some time to grow before I begin to look like or, or, or even see that I look like my father. So, what the scripture is telling us, Amen. Who's your daddy? Amen. Who are you looking like? Amen. Who am I looking like? And I'm telling us, Amen. As children of God, we're, the, we're supposed to begin to look like our daddy. Hallelujah, somebody. Any questions or comments right there? Oh, I just wanted to say when you were talking about, um, it says, uh, but we know that when he is revealed, we shall be like him, for we shall see him as he is. And I think about um, all those years when I, when I thought, you know, but it just seems like um, within the last few years, there's been like an unveiling to me. Like he's been, um, in a sense, almost <laughs> just been revealed to me, you know, that, that I could see him as he is. And even now, you know, when I may, it within my flesh, want to go left, he's inside now to show who he is, and he pulls me back right. Um, that's all I want to say. Amen. Praise God. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else? Hey, Apostle. <laughs> I just, I, 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 I think of it this way. And, and uh, you must progress in your in your Christ likeness. You must progress in your Christ likeness. So that you, so again, you can grow up and be like him. Because Christ was the first born. So that means that he was the first one, but there were there's supposed to be many more after him. That's all I got. Amen. Amen. You said it, sir. You said it. You you you're, you're all over. It. Amen. Uh, uh, once again, amen. I uh, uh, for, for for those that are listening, amen. We we're we're in First John, uh, chapter three, amen. And we read verses one through nine, 
Amen. Uh, so here's it. Amen. Uh, just like we said, we're, we're, we're to be perfected. Amen. We're, we're to be growing in Christ. Amen. That 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 we look like uh, our Father. Amen. You remember, Jesus even said, He said, you, you know, how can you say, uh, uh, been with me all this time and been with me, and and and, and, and say that uh, and still ask to see the Father when 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 I and the Father are one. Amen. So if you see me, you see the Father. Amen. So uh, again, so He says, well, if you, you want to know what He looked like, look at me. So the same with us, those of us that call ourselves children of God, amen, we should look like our daddy. Hallelujah, somebody. Amen. Who's your daddy? Who's your daddy? Pick it up in verse 3. It says this. It says, And everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. Once again, and everyone who has this hope in him purifies himself just as he is pure. So once again, it's already telling us to be perfected. Amen. So it's told us to be perfected. But now he's saying purify yourself. Amen. Clean yourself up. Amen. How? He says, because see, listen, listen to the word now. In everyone who has this hope. So we know that with this comes the hope, first of all. Amen. So what is the hope? What is the hope? What is the hope? What is the hope? Amen. He says this hope in him. This hope in him. So who is him? This hope is Jesus. Amen. He, he, he's our hope. But see, but what, what we've come to, you know, those of us, again, that's been around the church, you know, I, I, you know, I don't give a year how long you've been in the church. But what we've done is we continue, amen, to have our hope in the by and by. We continue to have our hope talking about when I get to heaven. Our hope. Is, 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 is seen in, 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 in our glory, if you will, amen, but what he's saying, our hope is in him, so what I'm telling us is right now, while we're living this life, amen, while we're walking in the faith, while we're being perfected, we need to understand that our hope is in him, it is not in some heavenly place waiting till we get there, amen, it is not way down the road, but our hope is right now in him, listen to what he says, in everyone who has this hope, in where? In him. Purifies himself. So because he's our hope, amen, we begin to clean ourselves up, amen. We begin to allow the word to challenge us. We begin to allow the word to change the way we think, amen. We begin to allow the word to purify us, to clean us up, to wash us with this up, amen. We allow the word to do what it needs to do in our life, amen, that we may recognize who's your daddy. Hallelujah. Amen. We may recognize who's your daddy. Why? Because it says, just as he is pure. So, and, and, uh, so let's allow ourselves to be cleaned up, purified, amen, cleaned up just as he is pure. Hallelujah. Who? Your daddy. Who? Your daddy. Anybody got anything before I close this out? Amen. Who? Your daddy. 